Hi, Jay here. An unboxing, a quick overview of a new pair of binoculars. Uh, Celestron Oceana 7x50. So the other day we were watching like an old cheesy uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. I think it was Commando. And he had these really cool Steiner binoculars that had like, you know, range finding and like target lock and, you know, compass and everything else. And I was like, wow, those are cool binoculars. And I looked them up on like, you know, the internet and they're like $700 binoculars. I don't think I have a scope that costs that much, not unless a pair of binoculars. So I looked around and I discovered that uh, there's a couple of people, uh, Barsaka, Barska, uh, Celestron, uh, ATI, that all make like a clone of the binoculars with the uh, compass and the rangefinder. So this is the Celestron Oceana 7x50. Now normally these come black. Uh, I got these on sale like radically under $100 because they were green. I don't know why. Uh, again, this is one of the uh, Thanksgiving day or Thanksgiving week sales. I think it was Optics Planet. I had them. They were like $89.99 I think. So you get a nice manual in here that it really goes into depth about everything on your binoculars. You get the binoculars itself come in a plastic bag. Looks like two mil to me. Uh, nice army green case uh, that has plenty of room in it. Let's see. Um, army green padded strap. The binoculars themselves. And then there's a strap for the bag. And there's a little place in the back here to store extras. And it has a cleaning cloth in that little bag. Probably that's where you store that. So anyway, it's a nice olive drab Celestron bag. You know, kind of likes padded shoulder harness on it. And then we have the binoculars themselves. So this is the way they come. I've taken them out so they popped off when I took it out of the box. But, you know, because nobody really does a real unboxing unless it's their seal. Everybody looks first, make sure everything's there, and then they unbox it on the camera. So this is the way it comes. Take that off. These come off. This is waterproof. It floats. Um, they are 7 by 50, 7x magnification, 50 millimeter view, millimeter eye view, centimeter eye view, whatever. They're pretty standard, you know, binoculars. I think I've got some 4 by 32, so the small ones, and 7 by 50 are pretty standard for the regular size binoculars. And it's got the fold down eye cups, you know, so you can get your glasses up on it for the eye relief or, you know, push them down so you can, you know, get right on it. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try and see if you can see through the lens. Nobody has real good luck with this, but I'll give it a shot. Let's see. So these have the rangefinder and compass built in. And before you go, oh, Steiner, they're going to lose their butts. No. This, I've actually played with a set of Steiners back when I was in the Navy. And, <laughs> yeah, these are about as much Steiner as a Yugo is a Porsche. But, I mean, they are good binoculars. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they're, they're 100 bucks. So, I mean, these are not Zeiss, you know, Nickerflex lens and sapphire coatings and stuff. It's just a pair of good binoculars that float and have the uh, built-in compass and range scale on them. Um, and during the day... The light comes in through there and you can see fine the compass it's just got a spit on the bottom of your uh, right eye in here there's a little black like half oval with the compass showing and as you do this you can see the compass swivel so it's nothing more than a, a inexpensive magnetic fluid compass the range height is a little more than a stadometer that sits in there you know with graduations so you can figure a six foot target or a six foot contact is so far away or a 30 foot mass head height you can use you know math to figure it out um, they do have a calculator on here 
that goes into a lot of depth, like slide rule on how to use this to figure. You know, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'll sit and read that, but right now I'm not worried about it. Um, and then at night, just watch the blue light come on. It comes with two batteries and a light, and this lights up the compass and also lights up at the bottom of the speedometer so you can see the, the graduations um, and it does work I mean it's relatively within two degrees or less with with my uh, silicon silver compass so I know it does check and you know sitting here in my window looking out with these things I mean you know they're binoculars so they magnify your field of view and uh, you know Celestron's not that bad it's not like Ching Ching so I mean they're you know they're they're usable binoculars so I would give them a 7 out of 10 and the reason I'm knocking a little bit first of all every pair of binoculars I've ever used has, has a center focus ring so that you like you know you focus these have independent eye focusing which is fine you know you, you do this right here but it's not as quick as the center focus and you have to make sure that you know like your, your weak eye gets you know so I, I don't really like that but you know then again I'm not really out you know I'm not part of a SEAL team out chasing the Taliban I'm like looking at birds and smoke on the horizon and stuff so these are fine for that uh, one of the other things and again because you can't see in here but one of the other things is the, the stedometer is fine it's painted onto the lens and like I said, there's a there's a, a little half circle cut out across the bottom, about that tall in your field of view, that has the compass. And you can tell that uh, it's a mirror that's probably looking at a compass in the roof of this this box here, because the, it's slightly out of focus. I mean, you can still read 270, blah blah blah, 280, 300, 320. You can still read it, but you can tell it's slightly out of focus. And there's nothing you can do to, to do that to bring it into focus. Um, so I. Uh, but again, these these were a hundred dollars with shipping on uh, Thanksgiving. So I mean, you, you can't really bitch too much. Uh, so and, and I mean they're nice. They, they they're very tactile. Have very good rub. I might have to work on these. This one wants to keep falling off. So I've already read how to fix that. Put a little piece of tape and on the outside of this ring here, and it'll stiffen it up enough to stay in. See, this one stays in fine. This one just pops right out, but I can work on that. Um, and I do like that they're connected here so you can't lose them. You know what? Let me try putting it on the other side. How about that? No, see, it's it's that top. I'm going to have to work on it. So, And you can take this screw off and take these off if you need to. And then there's your battery compartment right there for your uh, light. Um, so, you know, like I said, 7 out of 10, you know, it comes with a nice case, comes with a, you know, everything you need, and, and they were inexpensive, and, you know, they're, and they're Steiner style, they're not copies, they're not anything that you'd want to say could, could be a Steiner, but Steiner style. All right, this is Jay, I'm going to do my usual thing, be strong, be of good courage, God bless America, and long live the Republic. Thanks, and I'll talk to you later.